Setting up the MPK Mini within Studio One 3. How do we get that done? Well, first, let's go ahead and connect our USB cable to the MPK. You should already have the other end plugged into your uh, computer. We'll then go ahead and start Studio One 3. Next, we'll come up to Studio One. We want to access the options. And let's choose External Devices. Here, I've got a QWERTY keyboard added so that I could use my QWERTY keyboard to put trigger instruments. But we want to add the MPK Mini. So let's just come to Add and choose the manufacturer, which is Akai open expand that folder out the MPK is down at the bottom if you take note here they are asking you to use the factory preset on the MPK mini so that would be program one if you were to hold down program select and then press program one which is the drum pad on the top left here that would be the factory preset as it comes when it arrives You then want to come down to Receive From, select the MPK Mini, let's hit OK, OK, create a new song, we'll just create an empty one, come over to Instruments, and let's grab a sound from Presence, I'll just grab this cello. Now you can see here that we've got the MPK Mini in the upper right. If you click this down arrow, you can see you can choose between the QWERTY keyboard, which I have installed, or the MPK Mini. So this is what we want. And at this point, we should be able to play our keys. And so we've got some. Now what about controlling some of the parameters on here, these knobs, like for the LFO rate or the filter? In order to do that, what you want to do is whichever of these pots um, or knobs that you want to assign to a particular parameter, go ahead and move it first. And as you can see, mine has already been assigned because I've done it already. But what if it's not assigned? Let's try the LFO rate too. I don't have anything assigned to that. So I want to assign K5 to the rate. Go ahead and turn the knob. Then right click on that knob and then choose Assign Frequency to K5 on the MPK Mini. Now, you can see that we have control. Now, whatever you set, whichever one of these dials you set to control parameters, Studio One will recall that setting within the project, if you save the project, but also if you open up a new project. As we saw, I just opened up, created a new project here, and it remembered my setting from when I had uh, assigned it previously. Now, what about the faders in the mixer? It could be convenient to use. I'm going to press T and add four more audio tracks, just to have something else to work with. So we've got the presence in one, two, three, four audio tracks. What about track four? I, well, I want to assign K4 to this. So again, go ahead and turn that knob. Then right click just above the fader here. Assign volume to K4 on the MPK Mini. And now we're in business.
one thing to take note of is that this doesn't have soft takeover. So if you move the fader within the doll using your mouse, K4 is turned up. So as I move it, the fader is going to jump. So it'd be nice to see soft takeover, but it's still just convenient to be able to have a physical knob that you can turn to adjust. And just for one quick last example of the master output fader, if I turn K8, right click just above that fader, assign volume to K8, and we're done.